Buying and selling cards are the lifeblood and are one of the most appealing aspects of any physical trading card game. But what would happen if players only had an incredibly limited selection of cards to buy from? In this series, both Ruxin34 and myself will be bidding on sealed product from all throughout Yu-Gi-Oh!'s history. Each episode will have a new selection of product for us to bid on, build decks, and play a best two out of three. However, the kicker is that the items up for grabs will only be revealed to us us one at a time. You've never seen Yu-Gi-Oh! played like this before, because this is the Yu-Gi-Oh! Auction Series. If you want 5% off any singles or sealed product, click the affiliate links in the description and use code SEMO5. And clicking the TCG Player affiliate link before you shop helps support us to provide you with more amazing content. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Auction Series featuring the one and only Ruxin34 with the newly upgraded Sure SM7B. Welcome to the club, <laughs> my friend. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing good. Hopefully I sound a lot better oh, now. Oh, it you sounds know, so crisp. A bit in, this, in this setup. So, so nice. Well, you sounded fine before. You sounded fine before. But now it's just, oh, it's perfect. But this episode, buddy, you and I have been hyped for this one for a while because we we are going to be doing the most powerful sets in Yu-Gi-Oh for this episode. Some of the most powerful. Obviously, the term is subjective. And we're also going to throw a curveball into the auction this time around. We're not just going to each pick a bid and whoever gets the highest wins. You and I are going to go old school auction style and bid one another up. We could go to the moon for some of these items. We'll have to see, but we have to keep the audience on their toes, right? I'm excited. What are you thinking? Uh, this is going to be a lot different for sure, because last time it was just blind guessing. But now if we really want something, we could spend 50000 Because last time, last pretty much every auction, we have spent a lot less than our full amount of money until yeah. the last bid. So now we might actually use all of our monies, which is pretty interesting. I think that's going to be a bit different from before. And uh, yeah, maybe we'll actually both be down to close to zero this time around. But yeah. buddy, I'm ready if you are. Let's go ahead and see item number one. Ooh, oh, this is a good start. Emperor of Darkness structure deck. Uh, you and I both know, buddy, that the structure decks are notorious for being very, very good in this series so yes. far. Uh, maybe that's not the case for all of them, but to be fair, you at least get a playable deck right out of the gate, right? Yeah, it seems like recently there's usually been like maybe two decks in the whole thing. So if you don't get one, you can kind of be in big trouble. I agree. I agree. Okay, so here's how we're going to do it. Since this is a new format, I'll go ahead and chuck up the first bid, and then uh, we'll just go ahead and go from there. And what we'll do is whoever wins this item will then chuck up the first bid for the next, and we'll just go until we go to the end. So uh, I'm, I'm going to start big, buddy. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to start big. Oh, man, you're going right in at the 15,000 I'm going big. I'm going big. Let's see. Let's see. You want to play some chicken? Let's go. <laughs> okay. Honestly... I have no idea what's in this deck, but it's a deck, so... It is a deck. That's the thing. Like, we thought in the last episode or two episodes ago, like, one of the... Arguably one of the worst structure decks ever printed, yeah. and it actually had some really broken cards it, it in it. It did have some good cards. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and uh, up bid you by about a 1,000 here. Let's see. Okay, sure, I'm down. <laughs> oh, oh, you're ready. Okay. <laughs> Oh, okay, oh. Mr. Mr. Big Guns over here. Fine, <laughs> let's dance. Let's dance. Wow, you want to go 21,000. I'm bidding blind here, but I have faith that if this is a popular deck, it's got to be at least decent, and I do know that decks have been pretty strong. So that's supposed to be 22,000. <laughs> okay, 23,000. Oh my, you really want this. This must be really good. Or else you just want me to spend all my money. That's... I mean, maybe that's that's the fun of it. If we don't want it, we could make the other person think that we want it and make them waste yeah. everything. I love that dynamic. So who knows? Who knows? And now that you're saying that, I I feel comfortable with you spending 23000 on the first 
auction because okay. we have nine more to go. I'm going to let you have this one. Okay. All right. One Emperor of Darkness structure deck for Simo. I had to take this one because, buddy, this is Monarchs, baby. I had to go for oh. this. So I will happily take that. And uh, that is oh, the end of fun. the first auction. So the structure deck goes to me. I'm down a pretty big deficit, though. So uh, only 77,000 left. Let's see item number two. Oh, <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Oh, okay. Oh, this is this is rough. I mean, Chaos Sorks a common in here. Man, oh, that's so tempting. You do need a good core for it though, if you do you pull the Chaos do. stuff. Like, if you don't get any good stuff for it then Maybe it's not that good. I, we have seen that it's tough to get those darks and lights sometimes with these random series. So may or may not be great. All right, I'll throw up a bid. 5K okay. starting things All off. All right, stop lowballing me over here. Oh, stop <laughs> lowballing over here. $5,000. Okay, $5, okay you want to play? All right, let's go. Let's go. Okay. All right, L let's get a little serious here. You're going to get serious? You just want to one-up one me again? Let's see you go 15. Yeah. Oh, 13. No, no, no. 13. Let's not get too crazy, but okay. I feel better about 13. 13,000, huh? God, this is tough. This is tough. You'd be low on money. You want it? Could be. Could be. And that's where we can, like, squeeze each other, too, right? <laughs> hmm. I'll let you spend all your money in the first two auctions. I'll just take everything else. I mean, you still need cards, to be fair. <laughs> that's that's fair. I can't play with nothing. <laughs> all right, we'll go. We'll go. Okay. Um. All right. 15k. You know what, buddy? I'll let you have it for 15k. All right, I'll take I, it. I, I will take honestly, that. honestly, I didn't really want these. I'll be honest with you. Yeah. Um, I, 15. I was done. If you had upbid me, I was done. So yeah, I thought top. I could go one more on you, and my logic yeah. was. I think there's some bombs you can get in this set, but Invasion yeah. of Chaos actually kind of sucks. Yeah, there's like 10 really good cards, and if you can get them, but other than that, there's some bad ones. It's pretty top heavy, but if you pull them, which you have been very lucky in this series so far, <laughs> uh, then I'll be in trouble, but that's a risk I'm willing to take. Our money's a bit more equalized now, so I'm feeling pretty good. All right, item yeah. number three. Uh, this is looking good so far. I'm excited. Uh, Ooh. Uh, <laughs> I don't know much about this one. <laughs> okay. Well, that's advantage Simo then. It is, yeah. I know, I know what's a few I, cards. Oh. Okay, so you won the last auction, so you get to start a bid here. Uh Okay. I, I know what's in this set, but I don't fully know what's in this set. I know it's a five card set. I think there's some reprints in here. I just don't know a ton of the cards, so 24 packs. I mean, it's a lot of cards. Let's start off with uh I'll, st I'll stick with what you did. How about that? Okay. Um, let's go ahead and let's play. Let's play. Oh, okay. You really want this. Okay. How about... Um... Uh, I, I, I love What I love about this series so much is the people in the comments who may be more familiar with these sets are probably just screaming at us. They're, they're like, like, this set is so good. Right, right. Or they're like, this set <laughs> sucks. Why are you playing this much for this? Yeah. Uh, okay. All right. Um, I, I'll, I'll go here. I'll go here. All right. Ooh. Man, this is hard. This, this is, is this is really hard. Oh, man. <laughs> you know what? I'll let you have it. I'll let you All have right, it. I'll take it. 13. I'll let you have it. I feel good about that. So I, this I don't is, even know a lot about it. But. So this is the Necroz set. Yeah, 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 yeah. But... The thing is, I don't know if we could get a full Necroz core to play. <laughs> yeah. And I don't know the other cards that were reprints in here is the issue. I, the only card I knew in here was Manju as a super rare. That's the only card I knew. Right, and that makes sense to go with your ritual core. So, like, yeah. if you can pull a playable Necroz core, like, I'm probably dead, but... And Invasion of Chaos has Manju as well, so... That's true, and that's a common in there. So some synergy, set. some synergy. Okay, yeah. I, I might regret this, but we'll we'll have to see. All right, item four, buddy. Oh. oh. <laughs> now that is really good. That's very, that's like 40 playable cards. Oh my goodness, that's like, oh, oh my goodness. Wow, <laughs> okay. So you won the last one, so you get to start us off on this. Okay, let's. Let's give this thing some respect. Uh, okay. It's, it's oh, we're nice. going to give this some respect. Let's let's yeah. stop playing around, buddy. Come on. Come on. All right. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> you said stop playing around. So. Okay. I'll stop playing around. Let's go. 23. Okay. Oh, let me think about it. I mean, it's basically a structure deck with just like good cards. It's I literally. Mean, it, yeah, right. It's like it's 
not everything in here is good, but I would say yeah. almost 90% of the cards in here are playable. Oh. And the thing is, playability in this series is so is big. So insane. we might spend a lot of money here, I have a feeling. <laughs> Okay, let me think about this. This is hard. Oh my god. 26! 26,000. I'll go 27. I'll go 27. 28! Oh my god. <laughs> wow. There's so many good cards in here. But okay, here's the problem though. Whoever gets this, it's great, but we still have like half an auction to go through. Yeah, yeah we're gonna be really low here. <laughs> oh man. There's you know, I, I'm not surprised to see this item on here. I, I feel like both you and I expected to see this. Yeah. Alright, buddy. Let's see how big your balls are. Let's see. You can have it. Okay, okay. 30,000, I, I feel pretty it, good. But I feel I'm, pretty good. I'm optimistic there, there will be other good items that I will want. I think so too, uh, but I think this is probably one of the highest density of good it's cards about as good guaranteed as you can get. that we yeah. could get. Yeah, this may arguably be better than a structure deck, but like if you take the bad stuff out of the structure deck and I gotta throw watch out for getting hand trapped the whole game now. You have all of them. It's don't true. You? But all like, I don't know girls? if our hand traps can be that good in a sealed format, uh, is the thing. I don't I don't know, I don't but know. I gotta at least look out for him. <laughs> All right, item number five. Let's see. Oh. <laughs> dad, dad, dad. Okay. Uh, yep. Again, I think I expected this to be on here as well. All right. Uh, only 15 packs. Not a ton. Not, not for sure. Okay. Uh, all right. Let's, uh, let's have some fun. Let's go. 8,000, huh? Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll stop. We'll stop playing around. Yeah, not a lot of packs here, so I'm not feeling too good about it. 11. <sighs> I feel like this is the invasion of chaos situation all over again. This is complete RNG here. It's very, very But Dad RNG is very dependent. fucking good. <laughs> Dad is very good, but it's a secret rare. It I is mean, a secret. actually get it. It's it's pretty low, but I, obviously it's worth the chance. But fifteen packs is a little bit more than half a box. You have like a what a one yeah. in ninety six chance or something to get the secret rare that you want. Eh, so it's not super likely. Um, you're not, you're not looking like you got a lot of money over there either. I so mean, I spent a lot of it on Dual <laughs> Devastator. If I'm being honest, you got uh, all the good cards. Already, you know what? So. I'll let you have it for eleven grand. I'll all right, let you have I'll it. take it. I'll yeah. take that. I, and I, I, also, I like that this has potential darks. If I do get Chaos Monsters, it does. So. I think your issue is actually lights. If I'm being honest, lights. I think invasion. It, that's what it was before. So yeah, I think invasion of chaos's lights are are the biggest issue. And with the way you're pull, I mean, you have Monju. So I mean, like Monju is probably yeah. going to be your saving grace. If anything, uh, if you could I just play ritual. You if know, you otherwise. well, I mean, you could just play Manju just to play it. To be yeah. honest, I mean, but, but we'll it see. Sucks. It does suck. It does suck. Uh, okay, uh, we still have. Yeah, that's halfway through the auction, and our our money's already starting to look pretty dwindled, buddy. Yeah, they, a lot. We're spending a lot more this time. I kind of like this. I like this. I like this. All right, item six. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> oh fuck. Oh. Duel I'm afraid lights. all my cards are going to be power crept. <laughs> you know, I kind of feel the same way now. This set is so good. Uh... This, okay, in my eyes, I think Duelist Alliance may arguably be like w the best core set ever designed in Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh... I, I think it's so good. Yeah, yeah, that, that's pretty big. 20 packs. I mean, it's almost a box. 20 is a lot. 20 is a lot. All right, buddy, uh, you get to start the bidding. You won those Phantom Darkness, so... All right. The oh, please, 5K. please, please. All right, let's see. Uh, 13. All right. <laughs> please I'll go 15. Go to 10. I go 15. Thanks about 13. <laughs> I go 15. 16. Um, Try even up the money here. Mm, there, There is a possibility to even up the money here. These are really good. These are really, really good. Uh, these also possibly give you some good lights as well. Which yeah. is what I'm a little bit I'm a little bit scared of actually. Uh, okay, all right, let's go. Okay, you're gonna you're looking pretty pretty low if you win this one. I am, I but I mean these, I think so this is one of the items to spend it on if anything. Yeah, let's let's go. I think I want this. <sighs> Man, this is ah, this is tough. This is tough. <laughs> I think there's I think there's a lot of really good stuff in here though. There is a lot of really good stuff in here. 
Yeah, I think I want this. Going for it? But you can have it. Wow, letting me have <laughs> it. Okay, okay. I feel pretty good about this. Uh, my yeah. main thing for this is that Shadals are common. And yeah. so uh, just good, yeah. if I can hit like a play set of Squamata or something, I think that's like probably one of the best things I could get out of here. I feel like that's worth yeah. it. So, okay. Uh, <laughs> money's looking pretty low that, for Simo. Yeah, I, I was okay with you having 28,000, even though it was a little bit painful to let you have that. Yeah. I honestly, if you went 20, I was going to let you have it. I, so. I know. I, I could tell. I could tell you're about to let me have it. So I was like, ah, eh, never mind. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, next item. Let's see. Uh, you've got the money advantage, so you've got a lot you can mess with here. Huh. Hanzo. It'd be nice if it was a dragon ruler, too. <laughs> yeah. Um. What? Ooh. I don't hmm. remember these very well. you got to start it. <laughs> I do have to start it. If this is what I think it is... Oh, this will be interesting. Okay. All right. Uh, right. Let's let's go ahead and start off, buddy. 10,000 right off the bat. Is that a bluff to pretend like they're really good? That's the question. I don't know. Uh, there's still there's a lot of packs in these, so. There is a lot of packs. We got three whole tens. You get, I guess, three Hanzos. Okay. Let's go in 11. Uh. There's got to be a light in one of those packs right there. <laughs> <laughs> is it Hanzo a light or is he a dark? I forget. It's I, been so long. He, I feel like he's not a light, but I'm not sure. Oh. Uh, I mean, if he's a light, that's a pretty good light. <laughs> yeah, that would be nice. Yeah. This is hard. I. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard because I'm thinking it's either what it is or it's something else. And it's that, either what it is or it's not what it is. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, so the issue with that is that if I'm conflating it with the other item, I don't think this is very good, but if it's the item I think it is, then this is actually really good, I think. Uh, it's either great or or it's terrible. We'll, we'll find out I mean, eventually. we get packs at the very least, right? I mean, yeah. I think there's probably four to five packs per tin, so we're looking at 15 packs. I honestly don't yeah. remember what the packs are. Um, I think it's the promos, if it's if it's what I'm remembering. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll go. I'll go. You're going 12. Okay, let me, let me see about this. We're on seven. We got three more. You will have 16,000 left. Not a lot. Not a lot. My lack of knowledge of these is really, really hurting me here. Okay. That's what I like about this series, though, is that if we don't know the product, it can yeah. give one of us an advantage. But we both know yeah. sets very well, too. This is the era I do not know that well. This 2012 Same era, with me. Like... This is when I was on hiatus. So it's yeah. I'm, I'm not as familiar with it. But I do think I know what this is. Yeah, I, I'm scared about, about uh, the last items, though, after that DDS incident. I'm still a little worried about it. <laughs> That's um, fair. Like, they, they could not be good. We don't know. You know what? Let's go for it. Okay. Uh, I don't like the chance of just winning the rest. <laughs> I'll let bad. you have it. I'll let you have okay. it. Okay. All right. We'll take it for 13. Yeah. Keep it a little interesting. Here. Yeah. We, we got it interesting. I uh, am winning stuff pretty low, though, so I'll take that. I mean, I don't have a lot of money to work with. I'm not You've super sold on this. just a couple of this. really good things, so. I'm not super sold on getting this, uh, and this equalizes yeah. our money quite a bit, so if something right. else actually comes up, I feel pretty okay with this. It so. was either let you have it and then just automatically win the last three, which doesn't sound that fun, to be honest. So. Right. Uh, okay. I think I'll go for it and see what's in there. Let's see. Uh, I believe we have three items left. Item eight. Let's go. Ooh, a structure deck. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. <sighs> Do you know which one this is? <laughs> no. Oh, <laughs> I'm an okay. opening channel. You don't open structure decks. <laughs> okay. Why not? You can open everything. <laughs> because you know what's in there. There's no excitement. <laughs> But now I don't know what in the, is in there because of that. <laughs> so, buddy, you won the last auction, so uh, you have to start first. All right. Here's what I like about this item. The word structure and deck. I yeah, like that. Yeah, that's so, probably... It, it, anything after that could be irrelevant. So, oh, okay. All right. We're starting big, I see. That's fine. That's fine. Let's go. Oh, it must be pretty good if you won up to that quick. All right. You got, what, 28,000? Oh, you want this thing. All right. <laughs> All right, come on, buddy. Let's go. <laughs> okay, this thing must be incredible. What is in here? <laughs> oh, man. So if I let you have it for this, we're actually tied with money again we're for the tied, last two yeah. auctions. Yeah, let me have it. That's fine. I'm, I'll Ooh, take it. Ooh, okay. I have to think now. So I know what this is. The problem is 
I don't remember all of it. I know the overarching theme. There's usually some pretty good cards in there, that even that aren't in with the theme as well. So that's it's, it's again, nice. it's ever since the 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 fucking rock structure deck. I have like more <laughs> like, flashbacks. Oh, it's so bad. I'm like, and it oh, it's so good bad, and then it was like broken. <laughs> like it was absolutely cracked in terms of what it had. I know like half the cards in this deck, hey, but the other half. Equalizing the money sounds so nice right it now. It does though. sound tempting, but also keeping you off of a structure deck sounds tempting because right now you are very RNG based in your pulls. Heart of the cards. I'm going to let you have it. Okay. I'm going to let right. you have he it. He likes to equalize that money. So this is the Salomon Great structure deck. Ooh, that's now, nice. It's nice, but I don't know how good it is because you don't have three of it. That uh, is true. That so is true. Yeah. Th I'm kind of banking on the fact that I hope the rest of the cards in that deck are kind of duds. And yeah. uh, we'll see. I could be wrong. But I like that we have equal money, so it makes these last two parts of the auction interesting. Yeah, the content I knew would lure you in. It, it, of course, of course. I'm a, <laughs> I'm a showman, as always. All right, uh, two items left. Let's see, item number nine. Oh, Ooh. speaking of dragon rulers. Speaking of dragon rulers, there they are. Okay. Um, Ooh, Wow. So you won the last auction, so you have to go first. The uh, customary five thousand. The custom. <laughs> I like how we don't start at a thousand. We just like we're like okay, we'll respect this with like five k. You yeah, know. Yeah. Um. Uh, okay, and then you know by traditional rules as well. Uh, I guess whoever wins this one loses the next item as well. Wow, is the last item gonna be better? I I feel like. <clears throat> Man, this is tough. I could just like let you have this and then we're basically done here. But that wouldn't be any fun. It wouldn't be, but... I'm fine with you giving me this for five. You can take the last item. You know what? I'm going to. I'm going to be let's honest. Go! I think I think Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy is top heavy aside from Dragon Rulers yeah. coming in at rare. And I don't... Um, and, and again, I'm not as familiar with like the sets from around that time. So I will happily take whatever is last because I think unless you and even yes, the top end one. stuff, it's like Draco sack and stuff, right? Like, are you really mm -hmm. going to make a rank seven in this series? I don't know, <laughs> but who knows? We'll see. We'll see. OK, uh, so then item 10 goes to me, I guess, since I'm up on the money. We spent a lot. Look how much more we spent this yeah, episode. Yeah, we did better this time. <laughs> All right. What's item 10? Oh, let's go. <laughs> Oh, that's so good. Megatins, buddy. Screwed. Oh, man. All right. You're going to have like a, a current deck. I'm going to be playing IOC cards. <laughs> you have Salomon Great. You have some stuff to work oh, with. You have some stuff to work good. with. I think you're going to be fine. I think you're going to be fine. This is going to be a very interesting episode. All right. Well, buddy, we have a lot of stuff to open. I think this is going to be a very fun episode. I'm ready to get cracking. All right, we have a lot of packs to open here because I believe this is the first time in the series that one of us got six items and the other got four. I got six and Alex got four. And a ton of them are randomized. So let's see what we can pull from our 89 randomized packs we got here. This should be pretty fun. We're going to start off with Galactic Overlord. I think it's going backwards from the way I added them. So there should be six of these packs, I think, from the Hanzo Tins, which, by the way, have incredible promos that we will talk about in a minute. A ton of hieratic cards, so I'm going to have to look into those, see if those are any good. I don't remember them being great, but I'll have to check. Okay, we got some Insectors, Constellar Bell. Okay, not nothing too crazy there. Next up, we have more of the same. We only have a few of these packs, so I figured that the archetypes in here are not going to really be worth playing. With only six packs, we probably won't get enough. We got the XCs for hieratics. Once per turn, detach one material from this card. Special summon one dragon from your deck. Make its attack and defense zero. This card cannot attack. I think this card's actually really good, but I don't know if it's worth playing higher addicts. Next, we're going into IOC. We need Chaos Emperor Dragon to make it worth it. We got to be looking for good light monsters. There's not many in this set. And then, of course, dark monsters as well. But Berserk Gorilla may be good if we were playing more of a beatdown format. Probably not going to happen. Zero Gravity is not terrible. You know, you can switch everything to the opposite position that they are in. So if they're all in attack, they go to defense. If we go Earth, Gigantis is not bad. Get rid of all of his back row if it gets destroyed. Okay, we got a Ryu Koki. Spirit of the Pot agreed. All right. Not a lot to see here. Okay, pack six, we have Stealth Bird, okay, Prickle Fairy, Witch Doctor of Chaos, yeah, this is this is not good so far. Mind you, there's a mind you, it's a light, and if we do get some rituals in the Necroz, you know, set, the, not Structure Deck, the Secret Forces, maybe that'll be pretty good. Another Gigantis, that's not bad. A third Zero Gravity, that's not bad. Another Zero Gravity, we're getting a ton of those. Can we please, Compulse? A good card! Yes! Okay, that's pretty good. 
Can we please get a Chaos Monster? Not even a Chaos Sork yet. He's common Chaos Monster, please. At least one? Dark Mirror Force! That's three Gigantus. That's not terrible. Dark Mirror Force. We haven't hit a single Chaos Sorcerer yet. Mind you. Okay, we got a second one of those. Oh, where is it? Smashing Ground. Okay, another good card. Finally, another good card. Another Manju. That's a third one. But literally, we have not seen a single Chaos Monster. How is this possible? Last pack magic here. Chaos Sorcerer! Thank goodness. We at least got one of them. Well, at least we don't have to make our deck around lights and darks too much because we have one Chaos Sorcerer. Wait, is it even worth playing one? I mean, wow, that was bad. All right, you guys, wasn't that auction just a ton of fun? That was actually probably the best auction we've ever had in the series. That was something that we're probably going to do more of in the future. I think it added just another layer to the auction part, but now we're into the pack opening, and we're starting with our Emperor of Darkness structure deck. I know this deck like the back of my hand, because for anyone who's a longtime fan of the channel, they know that I love Monarchs, and this deck, I think for the purposes of uh, this series, is just cracked, because individually these monarch cards are just absurd and they put up just ways that are very difficult for sealed environments to deal with you've got stuff like aether you've got erebus you've got the squires to get into these guys you've got one of every monarch so we have just big bombs that we can drop onto the field continuously and then we have just a bunch of ways that we can get them out onto the field we even have access to cards like tragodia dandelion mathematician level eater battle fader like these are all just standalone incredibly powerful cards but then we get to the spell cards right pantheism is a draw card domain allows us to reduce the level of the monarchs to bring them out a lot easier march makes it so that the monsters can't be targeted or destroyed by card effects do you know how hard it is to out stuff in a series like this without having access to kaijus or things like that monarch stormforth is removal allowing us to take one of ruxin's cards and bring out one of our monarchs we also have soul exchange in the set as well tenacity lets us search these cards enemy controller lets us take cards as well we get soul charge in this deck fucking soul charge that is one of the most broken cards ever printed in the game, and it's in this deck. The traps are, you know, kind of whatever. I don't think they're, like, that great. They're fine. But overall, I think this is a perfect foundation for starting off this episode, and everything else we have is just going to be building upon this deck. Okay, Lord Attack Young Galaxy Packs. Here we go. That was... Ooh, that was rough. We got 15 packs, so we do have the Dragon Rulers, which are cool. So there's a Baby Dragon Ruler right there. Oh, there's two of the Dragon Rulers. Okay, nice. Ooh, King of the Feral Imps. Okay, I'm not seeing much in that one. Another baby dragon ruler. There's the another one. We're gonna need some of the big ones though. The actual rares. We've got there's a title. Okay, there's a dragon ruler. There's a burner. Okay, this is looking better. The dragon ruler package maybe is decent. That's cool. We're gonna need some of the rares though. More than just one, I think. We've got a reactant. All right. And our rare slot is not doing us too many favors. Have we even pulled a hollow yet? I'm not sure if we have. We got a battle and boxer. Okay. We got three of the babies there, but that's not going to do us too much. Battles and opponent's monster. Attach one. Negate the effects of the opponent's monster. It's three level fours. Ugh. Harpy's pet phantasmal dragon. All right. Uh, nothing there. Okay. One more pack. Another wheel of prophecy. We, we did get a ton of battle and boxer cards. I'll have to look into that. See if maybe it's okay because man we don't have a chaos package we don't have the, the dragon ruler package yeah we don't got much that brings us to our next product dual devastator now this is a guaranteed set of cards that we're gonna have access to we get access to ghost ogre ghost reaper ash blossom ghost bell all of the ghost sister hand traps are in here but there's also a lot of other good stuff in here as well we have Cataster, brio we have black rose i don't know if we're gonna be going into these necessarily especially because since we have a monarch core but the fact that we can access them is pretty nice we're gonna skip down here dweller 101 castell tornado dragon if we have any way to get level fours onto the field we can go into these and it is just going to be a nightmare for ruxin to deal with we even get access to some good generic link monsters underclock taker like decode talker like bomber dragon star you like these are all great these are fine they may be situational but it gives us more options in deck building dd crow effect veiler like these 
are good, but again, they're situationally strong. So I think it's nice to have the hand traps, but I'm not fully convinced by sealed uh, standards that they're really going to be that good. But then as you keep scrolling down, I mean, Danko, Sekka, Inspector Border, Lancia, Vanity Sphine, Majesty Sphine, this is also in tandem with our uh, deck that is facilitating tribute summons. And so this is another reason I wanted to get these in tandem with one another, because I knew that these were in here. We're just going to be dropping big bombs like this, and it's going to be very difficult for him to be able to out them. And there's the boy, ladies and gentlemen. Dino Wrestler Pankratops is in here as well. I wanted to get my hands on this because this card is crazy. Gamma Seal's in here for removal. We've got Mind Control. We've even got a Wave Motion Cannon if we want to put him on a clock. Super Poly, uh, I, do we have any fusions in here? I don't think we do, but we should at least be open-minded to the fact that we have Super Poly access. Book of Eclipse, Cosmic Cyclone, Call by the Grave, and then we also have different Dimension Ground, Typhoon, Dimensional Barrier, Heavy Storm Duster. Like, this is just anything we could have asked for. Solemn Strike and Red Reboot to boot. Order of Chaos, we got six packs. I have no idea what's in the set, to be honest. Insector Centipede, I know that's a good one, actually. Wow. Uh, Insector Gigamantis Ultra Rare, another Centipede. That's pretty good. Dragonfly, oh my goodness. It's all the Insectors. I still don't know if it's gonna be enough, though, with just a few copies of each. Uh, Aqua Armor Ninja, okay, nothing too crazy there. One more pack. Insector Giga Weevil, okay. I mean, there's some Insectors there. I don't know if they're going to be good enough. Okay, Phantom Darkness. Is this our last hope? Is this, you know, what's going to give us something good, hopefully? Pack two. We have Gigantoplant. Glad Gladiator Beast. It's not going to do us any good, I don't think. Okay, we have more Gladiator Beast over here. Okay, we do have a Dark Ultra Rare there. I don't think it's that great, though. Super Poly. That's a pretty good card. However, I don't know if we have a single Fusion in all of our cards, so... Maybe not. Another Super Poly, of course, when we have no fusions. That's fantastic. <laughs> We've got the Calculator. Man, this has been a rough, rough opening. Six Samurai Gemini Trap Holes. Not any, he's not playing Gemini. Uh, we're not playing Gemini, I should say. Final pack. Woo! This has been a fantastic opening. All right, we got Photon Shockwave. I think we have like three packs here, so it's not going to probably do much. Let's see. We've got the Road Nut. The classic Road Nut. I mean, that's all I have to say about it. It's not good. I mean, you could put a nut counter on their card. So, you know, it's pretty, pretty awesome. And we have another Champion's Vigilance. Uh, not much. Not much at all. We got a super rare Feng Wong. Oh, wait a second. Destroy all set Speller Trap cards. That's worth putting at least in the side deck, I think. That's a pretty good card. Destroys all their back row. And it's a spear. You can keep doing it over and over. But now, ladies and gentlemen, we are moving on to the randomized portion of our pulls. While we didn't have a lot to open in this regard, a lot of our stuff was already guaranteed. This was one of the things I was very happy to see. It was the final item, the gold sarcophagus tin. We only get three packs because we get three mega packs per tin, but there are some very strong reprints in this set. So let's go ahead and flip up pack number one and see what we're working with. And this is what I'm talking about, right? Red Reboot, Colossus would be very good if you know we actually had a core to facilitate it but maybe even up here we might have something good to work with uh, not really actually i think i most of what we're looking for is probably going to be down here in the rare super ultra and like secret rare slot but i'll take a red reboot that's not bad moving on to pack number two let's hope that we can get a little bit better this time around uh danger chupacabra is a way to get a monster on the field so that's pretty good reaper Docus is fine you know maybe this isn't actually as good as i thought thought it was going to. There are some Sky Striker stuff in here. Jamming Wave may be worth playing just because it is technically removal. And so I may just throw this in because there could just be an argument for it. And then our third and final pack of the Gold Sarcophagus tins. Let's see what we get. Danger Thunderbird's actually a very big pull here. Uh, Mana Dragon, Zerd Neutron. Eh, I don't really think so too much. Everything else is actually kind of a dud in here. I was really hoping to get something a little bit more generic, but I guess I overvalued this tin a little bit. We got a couple dangers though, so I think that's not bad. Okay, Secret Forces, please, please. There's only five cards in this pack, so this is going to be interesting. All right, Ritual Beasts. We have, there's a Necros card, another Necros. That's what we're really looking for, I guess. We do have the three Manju, so if we do play the Rituals, it might be actually pretty decent. There's a Necros of Trishula. There we go. That's pretty good. That's really good, actually. Yeah, this might be our deck. We really need to pull some more of these. Royal Decree, I just noticed that. That's a pretty good card. Royal Decree is at least side deck worthy. 
Okay, there's another Manju. Doesn't really matter. Ritual Beast. Abyss Dwellers in here. Necroz of Unicorn. Okay, another Necroz. Okay, negates the effects of special summon monsters. Man, I really hope he doesn't play Monarchs because this will be very good against it. Another Trishal. Please give us the ritual spell. Vanity's emptiness. Preparation of rites. Are you si You better give us a ritual spell pack. This is incredible. This is such a good card. If we have a ritual spell. Where is it? Advanced ritual art. Wait, 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 wait. This should work too, right? Okay, so we can at least use this. It's a ritual spell. It's possible to ritual. It's not as good as the other two, but it's it's something. Necroz of Valkyris. Uh -huh. <laughs> We have all these different Necrons, but we only have one ritual spell. Oh my goodness, this is nerve-wracking. Valkyris again. Really? Really? Car Car D. I mean, if you want to get some draws, but then it's the end phase, so that's not that good. Abyss Dweller, a second one. That's not terrible. Another Abyss Dweller. Another, a Brianak. That's pretty good. Another Necro Guard. Oh my gosh, please, please. Another Necrons, another Emptiness. Oh my goodness, this is awful. I hope I missed one at the beginning because this is this is not good. This is the last pack. Are you serious right now? All oh, these Necros cards and only one ritual spell. I guess technically we have Manju. We can search for the one. But we have to play with one ritual spell? Oh, that's just... Oh, this is awful. Okay, so that opening was pretty rough. We do have the Soul Burner Structure deck as well as the 10 promos from the Hanzo 10. So we have Salaman Great. We have one of each. So I don't know if it's going to be too good with one. I'm going to have to check out what exactly they can do with that. So we, we got we have the Ash Blossom. That's pretty good. One Ash Blossom we can add in there. Why? There's a Volcanic Shell. Okay. Goes in Match might be decent, actually. So we, we're probably going to play Goes in Match. Then we've got our four Link Targets and our Xyz Monster from here. So I'm going to have to really look into Salaman Greats to decide, do we play Necros with one Ritual Spell? Or do we play the Salaman Greats with only one copy of everything? And finally, we do have our promos, which are absolutely crazy. We forgot. Max C is in here. Tour Guide's in here, which would have been great if we had actual Chaos Monsters. Shockmaster and Rescue Rabbit. So... Not bad cards there, but man, that was a rough opening. We don't have any clear strategy to go with. I'm leaning towards the deck rolls because I think we can recur the ritual spell, and I think they're pretty strong overall. But maybe we'll go Salaman Great. Not really sure. All right, you guys. So this is it for us. 20 packs of Duelist Alliance. I'm really hoping the commons can carry us here because getting access to a Shadal core, not the card, the actual cards in the archetype, are going to be just huge, right? I mean, Squamata is removal. Dragon is removal, although it does come in at rare. I'm really hoping that that's going to make up the bulk of my other monsters that I'm playing. A lot of them are also level four, so that means that we can actually use some of the rank fours that we got in Dual Devastator. We'll have to see. So let's flip them up. Let's see what pack number one holds. And we did get some Satellar Knight stuff. I also wouldn't hate to see this because the rank four spam could actually be online. Excellent, 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 excellent. There's a Shadal Dragon, another Unuklahai. I wouldn't mind seeing copies of Stellar Knight Altair in here because then we can go Altair to bring back a Satellar Knight, and that's an auto rank four vega allows us to bring one out from hand but this ladies and gentlemen is the other reason i wanted duelist alliance monarch stormforth is in this set originally at common which means we could be rolling up to this episode of sealed showdown with three copies of monarch stormforth in a monarch deck that is just broken Okay, there we go. There's our first Squamata. I really like Squamata because it's removal. And as I said in previous episodes, when you're playing in a sealed environment, you want to look for removal almost above all else because if you can't out your opponent's threats, you're going to have a very difficult time. And Squamata not only is a man-eater bug, but it's also 1800 attack, which is just massive. Okay, there we go. There's an Altair. I actually don't mind seeing this. This is also funny. There's a Lancia in here. We can have a play set of this, but Altair is pretty good. If we get enough other Satellar Knights, we could play Satellar knights in our deck as like a main engine that also could be complemented by some monarchs because then we can make rank four plays and have monarchs as a follow-up i think there's a real strategy there oh second altair back to back let's fucking go and a squamata in this pack fantastic way to open there's our second storm fourth but we already get one in the monarch deck so that's actually our third copy of storm fourth completing our play set so we're all set on that front at this point aside from getting more copies of squamata
Armada, which we almost have a play set. I want to see a full core of Satellar Knight. If we can maybe nab like a Deneb here as well. Oh, that would just get nasty. Okay, that's not a bad card if I'm being honest. Time Space Trap Hole in an environment where we have a lot of high power level cards. This could be a very relevant card to play. Being able to just shuffle stuff away seems pretty good to me. Uh, also, we got another Vega. So, you know, the Satellar Knight core is coming together. Shadal Falco is actually a lot better than I first thought it was because since we have Dual Devastator, we actually have access to a bunch of these synchros. And while Falco can flip up and actually give us more monsters to get on the field, it also is a tuner, which means we could go into stuff like a Black Rose, like a Brianak, like a Cataster, and it actually enables the synchro pool as well. Uh, that's looking pretty sick. <laughs> I mean, it's not a Deneb, it's an All Sam, but it is another Satellar Knight name if we do want to go that route. So I guess, you know, having a little bit of burn damage in a format like this may not be the worst. It's also another name, so I'll take it. We're getting some decent Burning Abyss stuff, which kind of sucks because I'm fairly certain Tour Guide is in the Hanzo tins. And so we could have had like some Tour Guide Skarm action going on. That would have been a pretty sick loop, but unfortunately we didn't get them. Panzer Dragon's interesting. I don't think we have instant fusion, but this is technically a super poly target if we have machines and dragons on the field. So I may throw this in the extra deck just because A, I'll probably have space, but B, if it does come up that super poly can actually hit something like this, then that might not be bad. This completes our playset of Skulmata. Uh, Chanel Beast isn't terrible. This actually gives us a five to work with with Falco to make Black Rose, so that's kind of sick. Uh, Suwani, I kind of wish this was something else, to be honest. I don't think Yang Zing are going to be too useful to us. All right, you guys, only a few packs left before the end of the opening. Let's flip them up and see what we get. Uh, nothing too great here. This may actually complete our set of Artifact Lancia, and Recover is actually a pretty decent card for getting a monster on the field, which then we contribute for a Monarch, so we may actually actually play that as well. Let's go ahead and open up our second to last pack here. Another Shadal Dragon. That's actually a very big pull and an Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon Ultimate Rare. Uh, unfortunately, don't think we're going to be playing this. I kind of wish this was anything else, but it's a sick pull nonetheless. And let's get into our last. I would really just really, really like to get a Deneb or a third Altair. I think that would be a really good way to end it off. Unfortunately, it's a seer and nothing else too fantastic. Overall, I think our pulls were spectacular. We have a lot of synergies across our products, so let's go ahead and get to building. Okay, I spent a ton of time trying to make a Necroz deck. Then I read, must be summoned with a Necroz ritual spell. So advanced ritual art, the only ritual spell we got, doesn't work. I looked through everything else. I looked at Dragon Ruler. Obviously, Chaos is not going to work. Dragon Ruler, we didn't have enough. Salamangrate, the structure deck, is basically our only hope. I'm basically playing the structure deck. Almost all these cards are from the structure deck. Actually, all of these are. Then we play three Maxi that we got from the 10 promos. We've got a couple more, and we've got the Ash Blossom from the structure deck. This we did get from Invasion of Chaos. Thank you, Invasion of Chaos, for providing one card. Actually, I think it was a couple more, but not many. And then these are all from the structure deck. And then we have maybe even Threatening Roar was from the structure deck. Goes and matches from the structure deck. Compulse, IOC, thank you. And then IOC. So nearly the structure deck is what we are playing. I'm not feeling good about it, to be honest. At least Salamangrates are a pretty good archetype, but I mean, honestly, with all the potential we had for Necroz and some other things, and it just didn't work out with our pulls, it's very sad. Let's check out the side deck. We have a Fang Wong. I thought it was kind of funny because we are playing Salamangrates. They're a fire deck. This card's actually pretty dirty because we can special summon out a lot of Salamangrates pretty easily. We tribute for the Fang Wong, destroy the back row. I'm thinking maybe a side deck card, though. I didn't really want to main deck it. It could be interesting, though, if he's playing a back row heavy deck. If he is playing Monarchs, I'm expecting Monarchs. Maybe we will know if he has no extra deck. He's probably playing Monarchs. Then there's a second Inferno. We did get this one from Invasion of Chaos. There was one in the deck. It's a free special summon, so like, let's say we did you know, get a free special summon, and it could work with Fang Wong if we side deck both those in. Car Car D, honestly, I didn't really have anything else I wanted to put in, so I put in the memes. Um, maybe it could be good drawing cards. Probably not that good. Soul Release, just in case he has something that's graveyard dependent. He wants to get all his cards in the graveyard. I highly doubt it because I feel like he's going to go with the Monarch strategy, but he could, could go with something from Duelist Alliance or something like that or somehow get a strategy from Dual Devastator. I don't know if he could. Dice Foon, kind of meme but it is backer removal. You know, maybe we'll try it. And then uh, Summon Breaker is actually bad for our own deck. However, if he's summoning a ton, it could shut him down. And then we do have Magic Planner and Storm. If I did side in this, I would side in both of these so we could get rid of it. 
Actually, so that's only trap. So storm. I would side in storm to work with it. Then Vanity's emptiness also not good against our own deck, which is why I side decked it because I'm going to be special summoning a ton of monsters. And if I have this card up, then I can't. However, if he does have it, we could flip it up and then maybe storm it off if we do uh, actually play it. Royal Decree is pretty good. I have a lot of traps, so I don't really want to play it in the main deck. But if I do need to do it, I will. Then we have the Fiery Fervor, which is a battle trap. So as you know, not probably not that good in this format. And then this card might be really good. If he is playing Monarchs, they do have those recurring spell cards. And if you negate one of them, they can't activate spell cards with the same name for the rest of the duel. So I might side this in if he's playing Monarch and just completely shut out his... Uh, whatever those two Monarch spell cards are that they keep using over and over. I can't remember the exact name. Then we've got our Salamangrate. Uh, only two Salamangrate links in here, so it, there's not a ton. Then we've got a couple of generic ones like the Flame Administrator, not very good. And then the Dual Little Chimera, which is maybe a little better, not too good. And then some Ixies, which are not very good either. They're all level 4 dependent, and we don't have a ton of level 4s, but it's possible they could come out, so I want to have the option. Battle and Boxer, he's not crazy. Abyss Dweller is obviously pretty good against the Graveyard. I don't even know if he'll be using the Graveyard. We do have the Salman Great Miragastalio. I don't know how to say that, but that's probably our best one because it actually works with our deck. This card's actually pretty good, the Shockmaster, but you have to have three level 4 monsters. Probably not going to happen, but if it did, we can stop a type of card, spell, monster, or trap from being activated for an entire turn, which is pretty good. All right, I don't feel too good about this, to be honest, but let's get into it, guys. Let's see if we can beat Alex. All right, you guys, so this is the deck we are bringing to today's duel. We had a lot to sift through, and there was a couple different directions we could go, but I think this is ultimately what I decided upon. I decided to play a Monarch deck with a sort of splashed-in Shadal engine, just because the Shadal cards are so versatile and just kind of solve a lot of issues. I like the idea of having them on hand. So let's go ahead and do the card by card. We've got an Ash Blossom because it's just universally applicable at stopping a lot of things. It's also a tuner, which in enables our synchros that we got out of Dual Devastator, so having these in here actually isn't too bad for that reason. Battle Fader is a nice card that will protect us, but also give us a monster on the field to tribute for a Monarch. Speaking of which, here's Caius, just a great removal tool all around. Dandelion's neat because the tokens can actually be tributed, just not on the turn that they are summoned, so this could potentially give us tribute fodder. We can also send this to the grave with something like Mathematician. Pankertops is just a beast. I don't care if I'm going first or second. This is probably going to come up, so I want to have this in here. Edia goes with our Eidos. This gives us basically two monsters to get on the field for our big monarchs, both Erebus and Aether. These are our massive bombs. If we summon these, we'll probably win the game. Aether gets another monarch onto the field for huge damage, and Erebus can shuffle cards on the deck or in the opponent's hand back into their deck, so they kind of just solve a lot of problems, and they're massive. 2800 is really hard to deal with. We also have an Effect Veiler, which on top of being an Effect Negator, is also a tuner. So the fact that our hand traps actually duel as tuners for our Synchro package is pretty nice. Speaking of which, Ghost Ogre's up next for the same reason. Majesty's Fiend's effectively a monarch just without the monarch name. Mathematician's great because it can send Dandelion. It can also send any of the Shadals to trigger their effects, which set up pretty nicely. Mithra is another vassal that we can special summon to the field to give us a free monster to summon. Mobius pops back row. Rainbow Karibo is another thing we can just get onto the field. You're starting to notice a trend here. Ryza shuffles stuff back to the top of the deck, and then we have our Shadal package. One Shadal Beast, two Dragon. Dragon's good because it compulses something on flip and can pop spells or traps if it's sent to the graveyard by card effect. One Falco, wish we had more of this, but it's still pretty good because A, it's a tuner, and B, it resurrects Shadals. And then three of the best ones, Squamato, because it's a man-eater bug on flip, and it can send another Shadal to the grave if it gets sent by a card effect. So a lot of versatility there. We also have Tragodia, because it can bring itself to the field, and a Zaborb to clean up monsters. For the spells, one Cosmic Cyclone. I figured having this in the main deck isn't terrible, depending on what he brings. We also have a Domain of the True Monarch. This can actually reduce the a levels of our big monarch significantly, but when our tribute summon monsters attack, they actually gain 800 attack during damage calc, which means our normal monarchs go to 32 and our big monarchs go to 36. So having this is pretty nice. Enemy controller is just a very flexible, versatile card, so I wanted to have this in here. March of the monarch is kind of our win condition. If we stick a monarch and have March on the field, I don't know how Ruxin's going to out that without blowing up March first, because having a monarch that's untargetable and can't be destroyed by card effects is going to be a 
pain in the ass for him to deal with. We also have a Pantheism for draw power. Return just to keep a nice supply of Monarchs coming to our hand. Soul Charge is broken. If we resolve this, we'll also probably win. Soul Exchange to tribute for our monsters. A Tenacity to search any of our Monarch cards, such as Monarch Stormforth for the very same reason as Soul Exchange. And then the traps, there's only four of them. A Lost Wind to stop monster effects. A Solemn Strike, which is just probably the best trap we have access to. A Prime Monarch, which can come back and just act as a continuous source of tribute fodder. And then we also have Time Space Trap Hole to deal with any weird threats he may throw at us. For the extra deck, Cataster, Black Rose, Brianax, Scarlight, we have Stardust Spark, Trishula, Vermilion Dragon Mech for the Synchros, Abyss Dweller, Castell, Number 101, Tornado Dragon for the XCs, and Deco Talker, Sorry, just Skull Dread, Topologic Bomber Dragon, and Underclock Taker for the Lynx. All of these are courtesy of our uh, Dual Devastator, so I'm very grateful that we have a full extra deck that we're working with here. This gives us a lot of options. We have plenty of tuners. A lot of the Shadals are actually the same level, so that means we'll be able to overlay for some of the rank fours, and the links are there if we need them. And then the side deck, we do have three copies of Lancia. I do know he has access to potential chaos stuff, so I want to have this in here as a contingency in case he did pull it out of IOC. DD Crow's good at going after the graveyard. Danger Thunderbird's just massive, and it's also spell and trap removal, so I want to decide it. Gamma Seal's good at getting rid of anything that might be a problem for us to deal with, but we can take care of stuff pretty well in this deck. Go spell similar to DD Crow for the graveyard. Vanity Sphine can just lock him out depending on the type of deck that he's playing. Call by the Grave is in here because I know he has three copies of Max C from the Hanzo Tins. It's funny though, I specifically wanted to play this deck because I had the option to play Satellar Knights and just kind of lean on the rank fours that we have access to, but I know he has Max C. And so Monarchs play much better under Max C and Call by the Grave is another way that we can stop it or go after other stuff in the grave. Mind Control is pretty good because we have a pretty reasonable number of tuners, which will allow us to go into our Synchro package or even Link or Xyz it off. And then the traps we have Anti-Spell, a Dimensional Barrier, Heavy Storm Duster, Royal Decree, and Typhoon. Just a lot of generic back row hate. So guys, I can't wait to see what Ruxin brought to the table because his deck's going to look drastically different than mine. So ladies and gentlemen, it's time to duel. Well, buddy, here we are once again, sitting across from our computers with one another, <laughs> not the table, but uh, very high power level sets. I will say I'm very happy with a lot of the stuff I got. You mentioned before we actually broke away from the auction portion. This is the first time where one of us actually won six items and one of us won four. So how do you feel about that little advantage you got there? Um, I guess you'll have to find out how I feel about this in the <laughs> duel. And okay. I'll give you a little more insight later on. Okay. Spoil anything yet? That's true. I mean, a lot of my stuff is pretty clean cuts. So there was some randomness, but I think more compared. You had a lot of stuff to open. I don't envy the fact you had to open a million packs for this I episode. Opened, I think it was eighty-nine packs. It was a lot. But you had a lot to work with too. So that's true. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. Okay. Well, buddy, I am ready. I am gonna go ahead and pick for that rock paper scissors. Let's see what you got. Okay. Ooh. Okay. okay. All right. This this could matter. This could matter quite a bit, this actually. Could matter. Okay. Oh. All right. Very suspenseful, just like the auction was. Damn. Oh, there it is. Damn, 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 damn. All right, buddy. Uh, your pick. What are we doing? Kind of want to see what you're doing. Really? You're gonna let me yeah. go first? Yeah, I want to see what you're doing. Okay. Uh, well, good luck. Uh, we both have extra decks, which is fun. Uh, okay. all right. Uh, I, I'm assuming since we're playing with all different cards from across the spectrum, we're not going to be drawing for turn, I would guess. Uh, yeah, probably not, I would think. <laughs> yeah, I think for the earlier sets, like maybe that's more acceptable. But once we're like in Master Rule 4 and 5, we should probably be playing by current rules. Okay, uh, yeah. good luck. I will go into Main Phase 1, and I'm going to start off with a card that you already know I have, and that is Pantheism of the Monarchs. Ooh, yeah, just playing the Monarch deck, it seems. So we're going to pitch this copy of Return, and we're going to draw two, if you'll allow it. Or do you have that Ash Blossom from your Soul Burner deck that you'd like to use? That is okay. Go okay, ahead. thank God. All right, <laughs> we made it this far. <laughs> That'd have been nice. Uh, okay, next, I'm going to go ahead and banish this copy of Pantheism from my graveyard. This is going to allow me to reveal three Monarch spells or traps, and you get to pick one to add to my hand. Uh, but okay. spoiler, buddy, I'm not going to give you much of a choice. So I'm going to give yeah. you Monarch Stormforth, Monarch Stormforth, and uh, I'm also going to give you Monarch Stormforth. So which would you like to give me? 
I would like to go with Monarch Stormforth number two, please. Oh, second one specifically? Okay, one, that's yeah. you fool. That's exactly what I wanted you to give me. All <laughs> right, so these get shuffled back into the deck. I don't know how this card was ever legal in Yu-Gi-Oh! Pantheism is so good. Man, I have like everything I need except for one thing, and that's kind of depressing <laughs> if I'm being honest. So uh, with that said, I actually think I'm just going to do a T set and pass, and let's see what you're up to, the fact that you blinded second. All right, let's see. Let's see what we're going to do here. A T set pass. I mean, you do have the Monarchs ready to go with anything I'm ready to do. You so. do know I have Stormforth, yes. Uh, yeah. So you know I have the ability to Tribute Summon, but that's about it. <laughs> that That is true. I do know that you can do that if you have a Monarch. If I have a Monarch. That's that the might key. be what you're missing. Let's see. Maybe what I just want to use your monster, now? buddy. I don't know. Exactly, exactly. I'm going to start off with a normal summon of Salamangrate Foxy. You're on the Salamangrates. Okay, okay, sure. Yeah, so I'm going to excavate my top three cards. Sure, let's see what you're working with. Nice. Ah, okay. uh, hit a mirror. Okay, transmodify. What is this deck? <laughs> Are you, like, on fire? Like, just straight up fire deck? Okay. Okay. <laughs> So I'll take the mirror, and the other two are going to go back to the deck. Correct. Okay. Send these back to the deck. At least you hit something. I mean, I'm just hey, impressed that, you went that far. Yeah, that is true. That is nice. So we hit the mirror. Okay, I'm going to special summon the mirror in defense mode because I added it to my hand, not on a normal draw. Sounds good. I mean, that's a, a nice little uh, combo you got there. We've got a uh, we got a mini combo going here. Yeah. So let's see if there's anything else I want to do. Of course there is. Let's see. Now, one of the biggest issues I know with the Salomon Great Structure deck is that there's no copies of Sunlight Wolf, which is strange. Uh, yeah, it was a little bit weird. It was a little bit weird when I was reading through uh, what exactly I could do with these. And uh, yeah, that, that was one that was one issue. Yeah. I'm going to special summon the Salomon Great Bay Link. I'm going to send the Mirror to Graveyard, and we're going to bring out the Bay Links. Sure. You going to grab that field spell? I am going to grab the field spell. Let's okay. See. I'm actually very fascinated by the fact you went this route. I will explain why I did this later, but <laughs> I can't do it right now. But uh, let's add the field spell. Okay. Since I link summoned this turn, I can special summon this card to a link zone this monster points from. I'm going to special summon in defense mode my Salamangre Molt. Yeah, mole. That works. Okay, so you're you're getting a you're getting a bit of a board here. That's a bit scary. <laughs> yeah, you've you've got uh, you've got your two set back there, but we'll see what we can do. You're making things happen. All right, first I'm gonna activate the field spell. Sure. Now that we have three cards, I'm gonna go into the Salamander Great Helio. This is pretty crazy for uh, for your first turn <laughs> that you're yeah, able to so actually make the heat Leo. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna we're gonna special summon it into attack position. Of course, it's a link monster. Uh, uh, I'm, do you have a response? I don't have. I mean, you have an effect you can trigger here. I, I was yeah, about to ask I'm if you want to use it. trigger the effect. I will target one card in the Spell or Trap Zone, shuffle it into the deck if you can't activate it. Uh, now, the question is, do I want this shuffled back into the deck? And I think the answer is... Yes, I think I'm fine with that. So this okay. is going to get shuffled back. Okay. I don't know if you can go much further from... I, I'm surprised you made it this far just with like one Salomon Great Structure deck. But yeah, we're we're doing what we can with the one Structure deck, you know. <laughs> it's not bad. I mean, it's not bad. It's working so far. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I think I have actually another play I would like to do as well. So... Okay. I'm going to special summon this True King Agnamazud. <laughs> How do you say this guy's name? Okay. By destroying two other monsters in my hand. So okay. I'm going to destroy the Salaman Great Foxer. You legit are just playing like fire deck. <laughs> this is so great. Oh my God. Okay. All right. Then I'm going to send or destroy my Paro in my hand. Okay. Now you have another part of your effect as well. Right. You get to special summon. You banish a monster from either my field or graveyard. So because which would you pick? Because both were fire. So I'm going to banish your one face down here. You know, I'm really wishing I didn't shuffle back that back row now that that just happened. This is my dandelion that oh, you banished. Oh, it's not sent to the graveyard. It's not. So I don't get the tokens. Um, okay. Yeah. That's not bad. And you're putting up quite a bit of damage here. All right. And now that I I've done all of that. It took a while, but we figured it out. 
5,200, I'm assuming, unless you have a hand trap or something crazy like I'm that. I'm going to take just... it all. Okay, so I have got my two monsters up, and I'm going to end my turn. Let's see what you can do. Okay. I have a way to turn this around, but oh, I actually I have, like I have multiple ways to turn this around. I yeah, need, of course you do. I need one of those ways. Oh, my God. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> oh, I, That's shit. what I like to hear. This is not going as planned, I'll be honest. That's, uh, that's good. For me, at least. Uh, it's not good. It's not good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I am going to uh, reluctantly set a card, and I'm going to set a card. It's literally the oh. exact same play I made wow. turn one. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, reluctantly. Ooh, okay. Let's go to main one. And the, the sad part about Heat Leo is to get his other effect, you have to link summon using a Heat Leo. <laughs> and you only have one Heat Leo, and I, have I one, believe. Because it's from a structure deck. So he is kind of a, just a 2300 body now, which is kind of a shame. I really just wish with these structure decks, they would just give you like more than like one of these yeah, cards, you know? <laughs> it seems like structure would have like multiple copies, then maybe a starter deck would have one. I, that's just right. me. But that's me as well. Not. Yeah. We yeah. could do a whole discussion about that. But I mean, you're looking pretty yeah. good right now. You got two. We big old dudes on the field and i'm just crying in a corner over here it depends on what you got back there i mean you might have something good to go okay in, in that case we're gonna go to battle sure anything no okay i'm gonna attack with um wait there's no way you have a 2300 defense here so let's just go into it thinking Ooh, ooh, what is it okay uh in the damage step Ooh. i'm going to lost wind your heat leo so it will negate its effects, but more importantly that I care about here, its attack becomes halved. Okay. So all right. it's going to knock it down to an 1150, and it's 1150. going to bounce off of my Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit. What? You say you're Ghost Ogre? This is my point. Like, the hand traps in theory seem really good, but I've yeah. had literally one opportunity to use the Ghost Ogre, and the only opportunity was on your Foxy, and of all things, that doesn't seem very good. So, yeah. you know, it's just an 1800 booty at this point. So you're wow. going to take, okay. uh, take 650. Six 50 here, yeah, and uh, luckily it walls me up a little bit. Would you like to attack with the Agnimizad? Uh, I would like to just get rid of that Ghost Ogre. Okay, so Ghost Ogre's gone. Okay, then I'm just going to end my turn there. Okay, we walled up Let's for a see bit. see if you can draw what you want here. Please? Not, don't do it. <sighs> I don't think that's good enough. Yes! Oh, if you didn't. Oh, my God. That's, oh, the dandelion. If, oh, you banishing the dandelion just ruined this. Oh, that, that, really, been... that really messed you up for sure. That it, was, a, oh, that was no. nice. <laughs> I had I had an enemy controller set oh. that I could have sacked before you agnimizotted to take your heat, Leo, and trigger yeah. the dandelion. But I'm like, oh, he's just going to attack. And then you drop this fucker. <laughs> and I'm like, well, uh, you know what, buddy? Good, You got game one. Congrats. Yeah. That's what Holy I'm talking about. shit. Well, that went exactly as I planned. Uh, <laughs> that, oh my God, that was a disaster. Uh, I, I'm going to reiterate, if I drew any way to tribute, or I'm sorry, if I drew any tribute summonable monster, that game was going to be completely turned on its head. Oh yeah. Uh, but it just didn't happen. And I don't want to spoil everything because we still have another uh, couple games here to play, but... Uh, the sad part is I didn't get to see much of your deck, so it's kind of a new, almost a brand new game here. Yeah, I mean, I am going to go first, which, okay. I, I'm, you know, that didn't exactly bode too well. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> After looking at this hand, I don't know if this is going to go too well for me either. Um, <laughs> I'm going to set one and pass. <laughs> go ahead. Oh, my goodness. What is happening over there? All right, well, I'm going to go to main one. As you probably know, this deck is pretty notorious for uh, bricking. And uh, uh, yes, yeah. yep. This is a. They, I mean, you are playing a deck of bricks. I so am. It makes sense. <laughs> we're building a house over here. That's all. We're one one brick at a time. But let's see what you got, buddy. Let's see. Okay. Let's see. I don't know if we can go as crazy as last time, but we're gonna try. As long as I don't see fucking Ignimizad, I'm not gonna complain. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna start this turn off by normal summoning, Red Resonator. Okay. This is a fight. This card's actually pretty good. This card's pretty good, and because it is normal summon, I can special summon one level four lower monster from my hand. That's fine. What are you going to summon? And I do happen to have a level four lower monster in my hand. If it's Gazelle, I'm going to shit. It is not Gazelle. Oh, thank God. It is. Okay. I'm going to special summon 
Salaman Great Wolvi. Okay. I, I don't think I've ever even seen this card in my life. Today. It's not very good, <laughs> but it's a level four. It is a level four. Lower, so it's something. And if a Salaman Great Monster accepts Salaman Great Foul as normal or special summon to your field, you can special summon this card from your hand. You do have the foul. Jeez, he's going all in. So okay. Okay. We are going all in. This is a lot. This is what, right, 35, 4,100 just on field yeah, right I, now? I still have a few things that I'm considering before we get too crazy. This is just fire aggro, the deck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've got three monsters on the field. I think that I'm going to go ahead and activate... Transmodify. This is so fucking funny that you're on this. Okay. <laughs> yeah. This is part of the deck, which is why I, I was like, I don't know if this is that good, but we're going to go in with it. I trust the deck makers probably shouldn't, but... <laughs> okay. I'm going to send the Wolvie, assuming that we have a target. I think you have Paro. So let's see. I, Paro is a level five, so let's get it. We're going to special summon the Paro. Sure. Now we have options with our extra deck. Ooh. Got options in the extra deck. We have the Heat Leo play again, but I don't think you're going to yep. commit three things into a Heat Leo. Yeah, we do have the Heat Leo. I'm curious what I'm. I'm curious mm -hmm. because you have 11 cards in your extra deck. I do have a lot of a lot of cards in the extra deck. That is for sure. Like mine's not surprising because I got the dual Devastator, but I was expecting you to roll up in here with like five cards in your extra deck. But right, 11. Yeah. Yeah. I'm very interested to see what you've got. 11 cards that can possibly be played. <laughs> That's true. That's true. You could have just yeah. thrown anything in here just to have options. Okay. The question is, what is that back row? Because if I commit to getting rid of the back row and it just, you know, destroys me or something, it is going to be a bad play. I think I'm going to link off the foul into the bay links. Sure. I'm going to grab your field I'm spell. I'm going to bring out the bay links. I'm going to get this field spell. So we're going to add the field spell to hand. Okay. We're gonna activate the field spell. Sure. Okay, let's see. Do we wanna go big or do we want to possibly go home? Let's see. <laughs> You're up a game in all fairness. I am up a game, but how aggressive do I wanna get here is the question. A 600 attack monster and a 500 attack monster on the board aren't too exciting either, but if you just destroy my heat Leo, yeah, if you just destroy that, that would be a poor turn, I would say. So. Yeah, I mean, you've got a, you've got a wide board at this point. Got yeah, multiple at this threats. point, I, th I think we're just gonna go to battle and take the damage that we have. Sure. So, uh, what are you going to hit with? I'm going to start with the Bay Lynx. Uh, I'm not going to take anything because I'm actually just going to throw out a Battle Fader here. Okay. So, I'm going All to right. negate the uh, the attack and end the Battle Phase. End the Battle Phase. Okay, that's a pretty good one. That's a pretty good one. All right, I'll go to Main 2 then because it ended the Battle Phase. All right, in this case, do we want to go with a Link play in the Main Phase 2? I don't think we do because you are on Monarchs. You could just tribute it off right away. I don't like that. So at that point, I think I'm just going to set one and end my turn. Had to have back row. Okay. All right. We'll draw. <laughs> Anything in standby? Uh, nothing. Okay. Main phase one. So you have back row. What could you possibly have? You have a lot of cards that you I only opened from. 89 packs. I don't that, that's all? Options. 89 packs? That's it? <laughs> only 89. So I'm thinking, I know there's the Salomon Great card specifically. There's Rage, the there's Roar, and both of those cards are equally annoying in this instance. Question is, what is going to be the most beneficial for us? And I think the answer to that is this. So I am going to Tribute. Okay. We're going to bring out Mr. Caius the Shadow Monarch. Ooh. Uh, so do you have a response to the summon? Or are we all good? Um, I do not. Okay, I will activate the effect of Caius. Uh, I'm going to... This is a tough call because I can go after the back row and just clear it. Or if I think your back row is Rage or Roar. Well, if it's Roar, you're just going to negate it. So it doesn't even matter, actually. Uh, if it's Rage specifically, you can pop Caius... Uh, but you do have to use one of your own cards, because I believe Rage, you specifically need something that was uh, reincarnated Link Summoned for you to do that. So that would be a two for one on your end, which isn't the end of the world, but it's not great. Uh, that also requires you to specifically have those cards either. I lose to Roar no matter what. I am going to target... This is tough. I kind of want to go after Bailing so that way you can't protect stuff because I'll banish the Bailing off the Caius. But I also kind of want to go after the Paro just because Paro's big. <laughs> it's a tough decision. It's tough. I'm going to go after the Paro, I think. All right, that's fine. Okay. All right. So I feel like then 
You 100% would have warred that, I think. So that makes me feel good. Uh, I'm gonna go to battle. All right. I'm gonna slam into the red resonator. Take 18. Take 18. Okay. Right. Making progress, making progress. Uh, I will just pass on that. Go ahead. Okay, let's see what we can draw here. Interesting, that's an interesting draw. Not much going on in your graveyard, so. All right, so I think that this is what we need to do here. We're gonna start it off with a smashing ground. Crap. <laughs> well, you know, if anything, if IOC was gonna gift you something, it's smashing ground. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's a pretty good it's one. It's pretty good, it's pretty good. Fortunately, you don't have a lot else to work with. I'm gonna flip up my trap card, which you were wondering about. It's the gift. Oh, it's the one that I wasn't even considering it being, okay. <laughs> Yeah, because it's not very good. But <laughs> I'm going to discard one Salaman Great Monster okay. to my graveyard, which is Salaman Great Falco. That's actually pretty good. Yeah, and okay. <laughs> yeah, that was a pretty decent one. Uh, then I send one Salaman Great Monster from my deck to the graveyard. And then you get to draw a card as well. And then I get to draw a card, so that's pretty good. Yeah. The other parts are relevant because you uh, have no way to right. reincarnate this No way this to do Bailey's. the actual effect. That's the second effect of like all these cards. Right, exactly. Kind of annoying. Exactly. <laughs> that's why Konami wants you to buy three structure decks for $30. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to send the Salaman Great Foxy to the graveyard. Okay. Seems like a good choice. All right, I'm going to activate the Foxy in the graveyard. If there is a face-up spell or trap on the field, discard one Salaman Great card special or summon this card that you can destroy one spe spell or trap card on the field. You've got so two I'm of them. I'm going to discard to the graveyard my Salaman Great Mole. Okay. I'm going to special summon the Foxy. Sure. Gives you and another body. I do have another body. Okay, so now we have a couple of monsters out here. Do we want to actually do anything? And there's not a ton of epic extra deck cards in the in the deck but we will see what we can do here like if you had a sunlight wolf that would at least be something you could do that but i could have i would have an option to do something however i don't so with this play i think we're just going to go to battle here okay i'm going to attack you for five i'll take the five gonna attack you for a thousand i'll take the thousand that's fine okay then uh, i'm gonna go to main phase two mm -hmm. uh okay i'm going to link summon into Oh God, what did you get? <laughs> Dual Little Chimera! Oh my <laughs> God. You know, to be fair, this gets you a fire back. So. It does give me a fire back if you destroy me, which is kind of the idea here. However, it's Dual Little Chimera. So then I'm gonna end my turn. <laughs> I mean, it's 1900 at the very least. Yeah, it's, it's, it's slightly big. It's bigger than the other slightly, two. Slightly, sure. oh, right on time, oh, baby. No. Let's go Monarch Storm for. <laughs> ah, there it is. So we will tribute the Dual Little Chimera. I don't get any value off of it either. Uh, you would get value because I believe it's just if it's... Oh, it has to be destroyed. Yeah. Oh, yeah. so no. By, card, by battle or card effect, and that's just a tribute. So yeah, unfortunately. so you don't get any value. Question is, what do I want to bring out? So, okay. In your grave, you have the potential to resurrect a Foxy. You have a Falco. Um, you've got like a couple things, but nothing that I'm like majorly worried about. Gift is also worrying me, I'll be honest. Uh, yeah. I think if I drop this Majesty's Fiend, you're gonna have a difficult time dealing with this. So oh. I'm just gonna go to battle and hit for 24 here. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, it's a fun little card, right? <laughs> that's not good at all, actually. <laughs> and we will throw it over to you, my friend. Go ahead. <laughs> that is absolutely awful. Okay, let's draw a card. You've got that Majesty's Fiend there, which is very annoying. Yeah, he's pretty good. Uh, locking both of us out of monster effects Ooh. is not bad. Okay, yeah, that this is not good at all. I think I just have to pass here. Bet you still wish you had that smashing ground now. Oh, wait, I that wish was last. I had the smashing oh, no, that ground. was this game. That was this game. Yeah, it was this game. Yeah. Uh, we will go to main one. We'll hit for another twenty-four. All right, we will take it, I guess. And then uh, I'm kind of chilling. I, I guess I'll set one and throw it over. This is this is rough. How the tables have turned, buddy. How the tables have turned. When <laughs> my deck finally does one. what it's supposed to do. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. I got to get rid of you faster than that. Okay. Uh, yeah, you got this one. Okay. All right. Game three. <laughs> All right. Game three. Game three. <laughs> really? No special summon? <laughs> Salamangrate? How am I supposed to beat that? I, 
I, I don't even know what to do. You, you throw that thing down, I was basically done. But I mean, that was the, that was the plan. Uh, that. that was courtesy of the dual Devastator box that I paid like 30K yep. for. Uh, yep. So I, you know what? I think I got my values worth just from that alone, if I'm being it, honest. It won you a game, so that's pretty good. It did. And there's plenty of other good cards in there too. So yeah. I'm ready to see them. All right, not well, really, let's see really. what you got. It's funny. I was thinking that while you were like playing this and I know that you had Max C in your Hanzo tins. I'm like, oh yeah, I got Monarch. So like, I don't care about Max C. So. <laughs> yep, I started with three of those. They are now not in the deck. Shocker. I'll give you that hint. Shocker. All right, buddy. <laughs> I'm going to go first. Okay. We're going to switch it up. I think that's probably a bit better, but we'll have to see. Good luck. You did win, yeah. obviously, the first game when you made I, me go first. I did win going second. That is true. Oh, this hand. This hand actually looks pretty good. I hope your hand's good because oh. I'm feeling pretty good about this one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you did not sound confident. Oh, this is quite the hand for sure. I'm going to set one. Okay. And you know what? You're on Monarchs, so... There's no reason just to put something out there to get tributed, so I'm going to end my What turn. do you mean, buddy? I'm not going to tribute your monsters. What are you talking oh, about? Yeah, I don't yeah, have, I don't have three Stormforth. What are you talking about, buddy? What are you talking about? <laughs> uh, I'll go to main one. I, I will say that's probably the wise thing to do. Uh, I will actually just set one, and I'll toss it over. Oh, yeah. It just wants me to get something out there. Okay. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Ah, the issue, another issue with this deck is my Link monster is 2,300. I don't know if you know. Well, I think you do. <laughs> Monarchs are 2,400. It's so. funny. I was thinking that. I'm like, you know, even uh, he has Bay Links to protect, but, uh, you know, I'm 100 attack over usually every time, so I'm feeling yeah, pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good. Absolutely awful now that I'm thinking about it. Okay. They need to have a, a Solidarity Continuous spell, but it's like for attributes. Where it gains yeah. 800 if you're playing all fires or something like that. That would be nice, yes. I think that this is time. We're going to have to activate the gift again. Okay. Uh, well, you got some so, time to set up here. So what are you discarding? I am going to discard the foxer. Okay. So we're going to send the foxy again okay. to grave. A lot of setup here. I'm going to draw. If a Salamane great monster is sent to your graveyard. No, you have the gazelle. gazelle. <laughs> you can special summon this card from your hand. That was a nice top deck. Oh I'm my God. And he just drew it. Are you fucking kidding me? Uh, <laughs> and if a Salamane great monster accepts Salamane great foul is normal special summon to the field. Oh, you can special summon this card from your hand. Oh my God. What so is I am this? I'm going to do that. Okay. You also have your gazelle effect as well to dump another one to grave. So don't forget. That, that is true. I need to activate that. Yep. Okay. All right, I'm gonna send the uh, raccoon to the graveyard. Raccoon. Okay, this is another one of the ones that weren't really played. When your Salamagrate right, so monster destroy... destroys an opponent's monster by battle and send it to the graveyard, you can add this card to your hand. Okay. Yes. So it's it's something. Something. All right, I'm going to bring back my foxy because I have the face up gift on the field. I believe you have to pitch a card for that. You have to discard pitch a Salamagrate a... card. So yeah. What would so you like I'm to going pitch? To, I'm going to special summon foxy by pitching a. Sanctuary. Well, correction, sir. You're not going to be special summoning anything because I have DD Crow. Oh, no. So we're going to get oh, that Foxy out of here. Oh, that is absolutely nasty. That's nasty. You were about okay. to go big, too, because you could have gotten Foxy and Foxer potentially here, I, I think. I could have. That would have been nice, but it's not going to happen, I guess. Ooh, what do I want to do? There's so many options. It, but you probably have a monarch, which is a little scary. It's so funny because aside from the gift, if someone were to like walk into this game and look at this, you'd see like this, like <laughs> this looks like constructed level Salomon Gray. And then I'm just sitting here with like a set monster and a crow. In the grave. <laughs> yeah, it's like, huh? what is this? The problem is the protection from Bay Lynx is not that good against monarchs because you can just tribute them. So because they have to be destroyed and it just doesn't do me any good there. I mean, you get some battle protection, but I see your argument. Like, there's no real point to, like, funnel into it. Oh, yeah, and you do have that potential dandelion there, which is a little scary. It's not dandelion. Do you really think yeah, I would do the same yeah, play again? okay, all right. Yeah, I'm sure it wasn't, yeah. What do I want to do? Uh, okay, are we going big or are we not? I think we got to go big. Oh, God. I don't. Please don't go big. <laughs> okay, I think I got to go big here. I'm going to... <laughs> Destroy two other monsters in no, my hand or face up on the field. Fuck. God damn it. I'm going to send the Inferno from my hand. <laughs> I'm going to send the Gazelle. And I'm going to special summon 
The true king, Agnimazo. Oh, this is literally the best card in your deck. This is literally the best card in your it's deck. It's the best card Fuck. in my deck. It's actually over Monarchs, too, so please don't have Fuck. Oh my god. It wasn't Dandelion. This is the other half of my deck that you haven't seen yet. It's Shadal Dragon. Oh, that would have been bad uh, to go into. Yeah, tell me about oh, it. Okay. Okay, now we're almost fully committed here, so let's go to battle. I'm going to hit you for 47, unless you have some sort of response. For uh, no, this time I do not have a battle fader, so I'll take it. Okay, we'll go to uh, main phase two. I, I know I'm getting tributed right here. Like, it's just going <laughs> to I don't know what you're talking about, buddy. Uh, yeah, I'm going to end my turn. It's it's just going to happen. I don't know what you're we talking about. In. You really think it's you're going to get tributed? I don't, I don't know. I think you might be overestimating. Okay. Yeah, you seem a little too happy for that not to be true. We'll go to main one. Let, let me think here. I'm going to start by special summoning Mithra the Thunder Vassal. Oh, yeah. I know this card. So this card's pretty good. Uh, people yeah. from the Monarch days of New will remember this. Uh, it wasn't always played, but I always like this card. I think it's pretty neat. So you actually get a yeah. token on your field uh, as a result of me special summoning Mithra. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this okay. over to you. Okay, thank you. Uh, I'm going to tribute the Mithra for Zaborg the Thunder Monarch. Ooh. So, uh, fitting, nice. right? It's Mithra and Zaborg. This is very fitting. Yeah, uh, so, yeah, this right. is going to trigger both the Mithra and the Zaborg here. So, Mithra uh, doesn't really trigger. I just get an additional tribute sub in this turn since I tributed her. Uh, but okay. Zaborg is going to go ahead and pop away your Agnimizad, I believe. Okay. So Agnimizad goes, and then for my next trick... Wait, 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 wait. Do I have a worm monster? Do you have a worm non monster? No, I don't. Okay. I, don't. I was about okay. to say, if you have sure. something to trigger yeah. this, I, I that like, ruined whoa, whoa. everything <laughs> that I was just about to work for, but that's fine. Yeah. Okay. Then for my next trick, I am going to activate Monarch Stormforth. Uh -huh. So with there this, I'm going to go ahead and tribute away. I guess I'll get rid of the token, actually. I kind of want the foul out because I can actually hit you for damage here. So I kind of like yeah. that. So I'm going to tribute the token that I gave you. And I'm also going to tribute away the Zaborg, unfortunately, for the way that this works. And oh, I'm going to bring out tribute. the big boy, Erebus, the underworld monarch. Oh, wow. <laughs> so now Erebus okay. is a fectal trigger here. So I am going to send two monarch spells and traps from my deck to grave. So I am going to dump uh, the all-powerful pantheism, and I'm also going to dump yeah, the all-powerful yeah. prime to the graveyard as well here. And we are going to okay. shuffle Salomon Great Gift back into your deck. I don't want you having this card to be able yeah. to get more setup and like draw more crap. So yes. I need to I need to hedge my bets here. Uh, then we will go ahead and go to battle, and we're gonna swing into your foul for uh, a thousand okay. damage here. That is an effective turn for sure. Uh, these are in my graveyard, actually. They are not banished. Uh, second yeah, main, I'm actually going to go ahead and fire off this copy of Pantheism here. Okay. Now, unfortunately, I'm not guaranteed to get Stormforth, but that isn't the end of the world either. So the question is, what do I want? Okay, I'm going to give you the choice of a Stormforth, a Stormforth, or the last card is Domain. Okay, let me read this Domain card. So Domain's only relevant text, since I have an extra deck, is the fact that yeah. if uh, my monsters engage in battle, uh, actually, if my Monarch specifically attacks your monster, it gains 800 attack. And then also I can reduce the level of any uh, 2800 attack, 1000 defense Monarch by two. So it becomes a one tribute instead of a two tribute. Ooh. That's pretty good too, but I, th I think I have to give you the field spell. Okay. I don't want you getting that storm forth. Sounds though. good. Uh, I missed out on a little bit of damage then because I did this out of order, but that's all good. We'll shuffle the storm forts back in. Uh, I guess. Do I even want to fire the domain right now? Not really a reason to. I don't get the bonus when you attack me, but I'm sitting pretty good here. I'll just go ahead and pass the turn, buddy. Go ahead. Yeah, I'd say so. You just need removal. Huh. You just need a smashing ground to clean this up. Uh, yeah, I need my, my one of. Okay, let's see. You only got one smell. Oh, my God. Yeah, just wait. Just you wait. <laughs> okay. Okay. We're going to go ahead and activate the Will of the Salamander. You've got to be fucking kidding me. You top decked Will. <laughs> yeah, uh, should do a little bit. We'll see. Unfortunately, you banished my Foxy. That DD Crow oh, really hurts. Oh, my God. Really hurts. Yeah, okay. 
One Salaman Great Monster from your hand or That deck. is such a sick top deck. Oh my god. Well, I'll make this easy for you. Are you activating the effect of will? I am activating the effect, Okay. Yes. Well, I have a ghost spell in Haunted Mansion, so... I oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> So will will stay on the field uh, because it's continuous. Oh. It just negates the oh, right, right, right. Uh, the activation. Yeah, originally. Yeah. Well, that's. Uh, I mean, it might as well just destroy it, honestly, because now uh, I don't think I have any options. Because you got rid of my, you got rid of my foxy foxer. I think it's not activatable right now. Now the problem here is that. I need to kill you very quickly. Otherwise, you can just will next turn because Ghost Bell doesn't destroy the will, turn. unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that right now I just got to pass. Go ahead. Okay. Um, I don't know what I can top deck here that will win me the game automatically, but we'll try. Uh, I am going I to, right. <laughs> during the end phase, I'm going to banish Stormforth to special summon Prime from my graveyard. Cool. Uh, gives me a tribute fodder. Oh my god, that's, that's literally not what I wanted. <laughs> okay, uh, main phase good, one. Good. Uh, let's see. So the domain only gives the attack boost when I attack a monster of yours. So you can will, and you can actually like sort of get back in this, which is a little bit scary. Sort of is the keyword. Sort of get back into it. All right, I think we got to play. So I'm going to actually put prime to attack. Okay. Uh, I'm going to hit you for 38 here. 38, all right. So it's a two-turn clock if I'm able to connect again, but you have will, which is going to make that a little bit complicated. Uh, oh, that... Second main, I think I'm just going to throw it over to you. Right. Top deck will. Unreal. It's so good. Mm, the one of, because it's from It is the one of, yeah. I mean, typically the sec plays like two to three of this card because oh. it's crazy. This card's so good. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's literally Monster Reborn every single turn. Yeah, that's pretty insane. Uh, okay, I think I have to bring back... Uh, first of all, I'm going to activate my will. Do you have any other crazy hand No, you're good this play? time. It, it resolves. Okay, we, all right. Then I'm going to bring back... Yeah, I think I have to bring back the Gazelle. Seems like an okay choice. <laughs> yes, and since it was Special Summon, I can send one Salaman Great card from my deck to the graveyard, except Salaman Great Gazelle. So what are we going to send is the question. Got some options. Okay, I'm going to send my Salaman Great Spinny to the graveyard. Sure. Classic combo. If you control a Salaman Great monster other than Spinny, you can, and this is in your graveyard, special summon this card, but banish it when it leaves the field. Yep, so we can bring him back so out. We're going to bring bring that out in defense position. All right, so I think my play here is to overlay the Spinny and the Gazelle to make Salaman Great Mirage Stalia. Yep, I was scared of this. Okay. So this is a Probably one of the better cards that came in the like for the extra deck in terms of the extra deck for the structure. This card's deck. pretty so good. It's pretty good. I can detach one material and special summon a Salaman Great Monster from my deck into fits position. I will detach the Spinny. Okay, so with my Xyz special summon effect here, I'm going to special summon my Jack Jaguar from deck. Seems pretty good. Then I'm going to link off my Jack Jaguar that I just got. Sure. And I'm going to bring out the Bay Lynx, which has yet to be played today. There it is. There it is. Coming in and clutch when you need it to. Yep, it's finally showing up. <laughs> then I'm going to activate the Jack Jaguar effect. And sure. since it's in my graveyard, I can target one monster in the graveyard except Jack Jaguar and shuffle it into the deck. So I think I'm going to shuffle my Foul into the deck. Okay. So let's go to the top of the deck there. Shuffle it up. And then I will get my Jack Jaguar. Okay, special summon to a link that it points to. So which is pointing down, so let's go there. There he is. We get the Jack Jaguar. Now, we're looking for this Mirage Stalios effect here. So our other link summon option is our Heat Leo. However, it is only 2300, unfortunately. But it's kind of our way to get rid of your big boy monarch. We're going to send the Bay Links. We're gonna send the Jaguar, and we're gonna send the Mirage Stalio to make Salaman Great Heat Leo. Pretty good. And so. with that trigger effect of XYZ, we can bounce, I believe. Is that what it says? Mm hmm. I will target your Erebus because that card is just a real pain right now. <laughs> he is, and unfortunately, he's going back to hand. Okay. 
And unfortunately, you have nothing in your spell trap zone that I can hit. You do have a trap, but it's not in the right zone, so I can't It's also it. not considered a trap. It's so considered a monster. It so is a monster, it, yes. It's just tempting me by pretending to be a trap. <laughs> so at this point, I think that this is my really where I can go here. All right, so I'm going to go to battle phase. Sure. And I'm going to attack into this, this prime monarch. When you attack, oh you fool. Gosh. You absolute fool. I activate the most treacherous, feared card in the history of Yu-Gi-Oh! Rainbow Karibo! Oh, <laughs> what? So when your monster attacks, I can oh. target the monster and equip the card from my hand to your monster, and it cannot attack. So you can go ahead and... Oh, actually, I think it, I equip it on my field, so... I'll take it back, actually. I'm trying to equip it, like, with your side. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, let me move this back over there. Okay, thank you. Uh, so my Prime Monarch is not going anywhere. That is absolutely annoying. I will give you that. <laughs> um, all right, let's go to main phase two. I put this in my deck thinking, will this come up? I doubt it, and here we go. It might here actually it is. save that me. That is quite annoying. Okay, I will, at, that, at this point, I'm done, I guess. And you're, you've got your guy back in your hand. You've got the field spell. Just got to tribute one card. But it's not enough to kill you. Uh, it's not enough to kill me, but it is enough to beat me, probably. <laughs> that, however, is enough to kill you. Uh, I will... Oh, man. <laughs> I will activate Domain of the True Monarch. Yep. I'm going to reveal the Erebus in my hand to reduce its right. level to six. Mm -hmm. And then the, tur the card I top decked for turn is Monarch Storm 4. <laughs> So we will tribute right the now? Heat Leo. <laughs> Are you kidding me right now? And we'll bring the Erebus back out. And I'm going to skip this, the semantics the of going through everything because this oh, is enough to kill you here. So, oh, my goodness. 3,800 to the face. Holy what shit. In what the a game. World. Rainbow Karibo, let's go. Oh, <laughs> that hurts so much. Oh, oh my god. When you started going off with the Mirage Stallion, I was like, oh fuck, this is gonna get so bad. <laughs> like, the problem with this deck is one, there's only one of everything. So you, you, there's a lot better cards you could be choosing here yeah. multiple. Then my options in the extra deck are just awful. What like, else? Okay, like show me your extra deck. What else were okay. you playing? I know you Let obviously me... have like the Heat Leo and the, the Bailings, but like what else did you get? Not much. It's just a bunch of level four XCs that I could maybe come up. Oh, perfect. But yeah, so it's not much. And then they played these two random link monsters, the uh the Doolittle Chimera and then the other one that just gains attack. So they're just not it's just not a lot of options to get into is the problem. So sure. that big guy that I got into in two games is actually probably the best card in the deck. Possibly. I mean, to be fair, it does this... have a kaiju in this deck, which is nice. But then honestly, if I gave you a kaiju, I feel like you just beat me with it. So. I mean, potentially like that was my theory when I saw that this deck was up for grabs is that one of the biggest things we have difficulty with when we're playing against one another is getting over big stuff if we don't have removal mm -hmm. and monarchs are just all big. And so I was yeah. thinking if he doesn't get a good amount of removal, the monarchs themselves are kind of just like the threat. And so that was my logic. And what I was also thinking was, and I'm not sure if you knew this, in the Duelist Alliance packs that I got, Monarch Stormforth is printed in that. And so oh, I didn't I, know that. I was able to get a full playset oh. of Monarch Stormforth, which is why I wanted those packs so desperately. I was because, wondering how you had three of them. Yeah, I was like, because what? the deck only comes with one copy, and there was I got three in total because it's a common. So oh, that's a huge mistake. Right. So I that was that kind more. of like played into my plan very well of trying to assemble this yeah. deck all together. And if then we had one storm for this would be a lot worse. It would be a lot easier. Yeah, because then I couldn't like search it with pantheism. There's a lot of things that uh, one storm forth makes it much more difficult. But then I also had this shit all package courtesy of Duelist Alliance as well. And I was playing a lot of them. I played like three Squamata, yeah. a Falco, a Beast, but you didn't see any of them. 
because I just never drew them, to be there honest. There was a lot of generically good cards like in there that I didn't really think about, to be honest, when I was bidding on Duel Link or Duel Link, Duel Links. That's Duel Link Alliance. <laughs> you've been playing a lot of Duel Links lately, to yeah, be fair. Yeah, too much but Duel Links. <laughs> that's part of the fun of the series, though, right? Like, if I know something about a set mm -hmm. and, like, you don't or vice versa, like, yep. I remember a couple sets ago, you knew that Pot of Greed was in, like, Tournament Pack 3 or something, and I didn't yep. know that. So I didn't bid too high on it, and then you were able to get three Pot of Greed. Like, that's broken, yeah. you know? Uh -huh. And so... Yeah, that was that was kind of the way that it uh, went. And I mean, overall, my deck was actually like pretty good, I felt like. But uh, th the first game, the issue was I had all the ways to tribute for a monarch and no yeah. monarchs in hand. I just uh -huh. couldn't get any to save my life, unfortunately. But yeah, that's just how Are it goes. Are you ready to hear about my deck building fun I am. that I had? I'm curious to know how you <laughs> ended up on Salomon Great of all things. I thought okay, you were just going to so maybe piece it apart, so but let's hear I it. was not going to play Salomon Great because I've never played Salomon Great. So I was trying to avoid that because one, it's one copy of everything. Two, I would have to figure out how to do it mid-duel. And I was like, I'm going to avoid this if I can. Let's see if I can pull something else. So we start off with my Invasion of Chaos packs. Okay. Notice how I did not play anything except Smashing Ground. And I do have a Compulse from that. Okay. And I Inferno. Pulled, you played Inferno. I put no well one was from the deck oh, so it, okay. this one was in the structure deck so uh, I did pull another one invasion of chaos but I opened my invasion of chaos packs first 23 packs not a single chaos monster not a chaos sork chaos emperor dragon lackluster soldier last pack I get one chaos sork okay so they were awful I didn't get anything out of those so I had one chaos sork I was like okay maybe we'll play it if I can fit it in then I get to my, let's see, in Phantom Darkness, I pulled not much, not nothing high rarity. Honestly, I don't know if I pulled any hollows. I can't remember pulling a hollow out of the entire Really? Opening. Okay, wow. I pulled Dark Mirror Force. Ooh, so scary. So I pulled that. I pulled um, the the dark card where if you have seven darks in your grave, you can draw three cards. Oh, beginning of the end. Darkness. Yeah, I pulled yeah, yeah. that. Uh, so that was like almost it. So I pulled not much from Phantom Darkness except like three Armageddon Knight, which could have been nice, but... There wasn't anything to play it with. So sure. I get to the Necroz packs. I'm okay. thinking, yeah, we can get Necroz here. You know, I'm pu I pulled three Trishula. I pulled like two of uh, every other one. So I have tons <sighs> of shit. rituals. I pulled zero ritual spells. You didn't pull a single one? I pulled advanced ritual art, which I didn't read must be sp summoned by a Necroz ritual. So I'm building the deck oh, with one ritual. I'm like, no. I I'll make it happen with one. I and then I read it must be someone Necroz ritual spell, and I'm like I can't play any of this it's literally unplayable because I don't have a ritual spell I didn't pull either of the two the kaleidoscope or the other one the mirror I didn't pull a single yeah. one 24 packs that's I had, insane I had this entire package I had three manju I had tour guide which I was going to bring the Dijins and all those you know those releases oh you could have played could, that crap yeah to, oh my I, god and they were actually going to be pretty good because I automatically have a four and a, th or I have a bunch of my levels on the field. I play my advance and I summon like Trishel and I get all the effects off the Dijin, which are actually pretty good. Right. I had all that set up. I had Armageddon Knight to pitch those Dijins to the graveyard and all that stuff, but I didn't pull a single oh, spell. No. I was, so I built like <laughs> the entire deck and then I read it and I'm like, I can't play this. <laughs> I was like, I gotta restart. So then I, I was looking everywhere for anything else, and I'm like, I literally have to play the Salaman Great Structure deck. Well, at least you and realized I, it didn't bring the Necroz deck to the duel, at least. Yeah, like I realized it before, and I, I was like, well, I have to play Salaman Great, the, basically the Structure deck. I threw in maybe 10 different cards. I had Maxi in there, and I was like, well, let's hope he doesn't play Monarch. You were playing Monarch, so those were worthless. <laughs> the play set of Maxi. I, I couldn't play Tour Guide. I couldn't play uh, Rescue Rabbit because that's just a normal monster. So I had all these great cards that are completely worthless. It was the most frustrating thing ever. I was just like, okay, well, we're playing Silent Man Great. Let's see how this goes. I mean, you made the best of it. And to be fair, you made some cool plays and you won the first game, like convincingly. We did win a I game. Mean, I'm I, happy I bricked that that like no other, but I mean, obviously that's this. Yeah. That's, that's also, you just deal with it if you play 5, this 5,800 damage in the first turn is pretty good. Too, yeah, so. that Agnimazod is just crazy. Like that was yeah, so that good for you. Good. But yeah, and then so for my pulls, uh, the Dual Devastator definitely came in clutch because that's where the DD yeah. Crow and the Ghost Bell came from. The uh, other sick thing about my deck is that I was playing like extra deck Monarch. And what's nice about this is that the Ghost Girls like Bell and like that are tuners. So 
I'm Ooh, actually able yeah. to access the synchro pool in my extra deck from Dual Devastator, like Black Rose, you know, like Brio, right? And Dude, so, so your deck is so good. It was actually pretty <laughs> sick. Yeah, when like I was worried I didn't have oh. enough tuners, but then I also got the uh, Falco from uh -huh. the uh, Duelist Alliance packs, and this is also a tuner. And just wow. being able to flip this, get a four back, that can make you a have Brio some just nasty by itself. Plays in this. Yeah. So yeah. like there, I had like backup lines from just the Monarchs themselves, where I could actually access synchros. Not to mention the Shadal Dragon and Falco are fours. So I could even go into stuff like the uh, the rank fours that I have, like the Castell or the, the 101, for instance, here. So oh, wow. there actually was a lot of synergy across the cards. I almost actually brought Satellar Knights. I pulled two Altair, three, uh, the one that dumps one and the one that specials one from hand. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking like, wow. And I'm actually very happy you did not get those packs for the Chaos Synergy if you did get like yeah. triple Chaos Orc. Cause then you could have played like Satellar Knight Shadal with Chaos Orc. And that would have been actually pretty good. That would have been awesome. Yeah. Right. And so I almost rolled up here with like Satellar Knight Shadal because I thought, oh, this is good. I can just summon a bunch of level fours and just make rank four plays every turn. But then I remembered you had the max seeds in the Hanzo tin. Yeah. And I was <laughs> like i really don't want to just like get max seed every single turn so i figured like actually going the monarch route was better so i actually had two different directions i could go uh my megaton was actually i think the worst out of everything that huh. i got i think i only maybe pulled one or two playable cards in there uh right. and i mean i guess that's just how it goes sometimes you know like you may yeah. think something's like insane that's why these structured decks are so good that's how I feel, get, but you get what you bought. You don't have to worry about pulling it. Like I was my invasion of chaos and phantom darkness. I bought those and got nothing out of them basically. But to be fair, you could have also gotten dark arm dragon, which exactly, is like the most exactly. busted card like ever printed essentially. Right. So, you know, it's a trade off, right? And it's, it's interesting because some of these decks, you don't know how good they're going to perform when you look at it in the context of all the other cards we have access to, right? Yeah. The, you know, the decks are only as good as the other cards that are available. And while they may be a little bit more cohesive, the fact that we only get one deck, I think really throws things off a yeah. lot for us because you're used to seeing them in like $30 versions or like 3X yeah. versions where they're like at their peak, but just having one of it, uh, not the same, not the same <laughs> at all. Definitely not the same, that's for sure. Yeah. But this is a fun one. This is a very fun one. Uh, it was down to the wire too, which was uh, maybe even more exciting. And, you know, we still have so many more options in front of us for auctions, right? I think this series is yeah. just, I think the auction is like the most exciting part of the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> and then <laughs> dueling is obviously still fun as well, but like just the whole game of trying to figure out like who's going to get what, that's just a blast every single yeah. time. So and just seeing how it turns out with all the risk we put in and, you know, what you risk 30K yeah. for Dual Devastator paid off. I think it sure. paid off. Yeah. And yeah. so then you're like thinking in retrospect like man should i've gone more for those items like yeah. and you don't know how it's going to play out and honestly if you and i played this out again it could have gone completely differently like we have no idea so guys that's going to wrap it up for this episode of the Yu-Gi-Oh auction series be sure to tune in next time because if you thought this one was going to be fun oh man next episode is going to be a disaster but that's what you've come to expect from us we have to shout out our patrons as always so big shout out to shout 1317 moto cameron smith chaotic meatball sj winchester tim 0x3 ika iron fang part two pony starkey and musa michael Dente, Dan the Man Hoban, Synchro Guy, Ole, Mystic Walk, Sylvia Wild, Stray Conic, Rock Slide, Dolly Wop, Logan Thomas, Peter Gregory, Cole T, Thomas Nelson, Yusuf Asin 05, Jordan Coons, Kale Van Iron, Blade Twin, Pure H, Jesse Wood, Trunurgas, and Brother Paul, Chris Hood, Lumpy, Nehu Celeste, David Liu, Rockley 325, Lane Rogers, Chat God, Saud Agent 216, I Side and Grand Maju and Salad, Sky Rose, Dylan Hunter, Brett Harvey, John Two Base, Apathy Astro, Brody Uso, Day Seer, Elias Panero, Carlos CT, Flannel Daddy, Give Me Speed Warrior, Give Me Death, Matthew Elliott, MBT's Hard Lake, Ashlyn Jensen, Cypher Peon, Perp 6, TC Gaming, thanks for the sleeves dad that's a new one matthew brady edison <laughs> format ash blossom toe sniffer dr solace max tom russell gage just play watts already wrong series chipotle rice and nicholas garland thank you so much for watching the video and we will see you next time